hi guys today i'm going to take you through my wash day um so i just took braids well lines cornrows off of my hair yesterday last night that's why you see there's a defined side parting there it was crochet locks and i had um sorry i had styled them with a side parting so to get started we are going to section this hair into i don't know how many sections but first we must just equally divide it so get rid of the side parting and let's make a middle parting so that we can have a bit more balance it's quite dirty and as you can see this build up and it's all over the show as you can see it's proper 4c hair um the cornrows are actually what just helped to have it a little straight here but usually this is it so okay let's get to parting um i might need a bit of a that actually it doesn't really matter you don't need to go all formal with a comb i don't know why i'm doing that we can just um part with our fingers i think i'm going to do one um two three, four, and then five, six. So six partings. Usually people can do with four or actually depending, some people even do two ponies, but um, my hair is quite thick. So I think six sections will be good for that. To kind of um, split the hair. There's only three of them. So we'll see how we're gonna do that. So let's, um, let's part so you can just make that into a little ball there so it's actually quite small um there we go there's one section um then we have section number two there we go yeah, the 4 c 4 c hair ever. Then let's go this side. So to start with, I'm going to be using this African Pride Aloe Co and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. So this is for before your wash. That's why it's called a pre-shampoo. And it's also to detangle. And I'm going to be using it in conjunction with my main and tail detangler spray. So we have that and that. Um, this African Pride is available at Discam. The main and tail detangler is actually a, a horse tail spray. It's made for the hair of the horse and um, it works quite well on my 4C hair. I get this usually from Take A Lot. Um, it's not actually available in any store. I know the brand is there in Discam and they sell sell it as a shampoo or conditioner but this spray only and take a lot and it goes out of stock pretty quick um is it only for horses and can it be used in human hair well my hair takes well to it but um i can't recommend and i, I haven't seen any harmful um effects or, or ingredients on it so i use it a friend of mine had recommended it some years back at um in fact at my first job and she was of indian descent and she used it on her hair to give it a shine with me it gets these knots out of this 4c hair so okay so let's get started with the detangling here's our one section i'm gonna open the pre-shampoo and just this is the consistency i don't know if you can see and i just add that from root to tip Oh, I actually forgot. I wanted to spray a bit of detangler before that. Um, there we go. You can see it's already much easier to work with. 
And then you get your detangling comb. As you can see, this isn't your everyday comb. It's split up like that in order to assist you with the detangling. So you hold your section and start from bottom, work your way up from the bottom, right? And obviously you should have finger detangled first so that the comb isn't doing all the work. Then we go in. You can see it's already just gliding through because that pre-shampoo and the detangling spray actually did a good job in Okay, so done detangling. It's been about 45 minutes or an hour actually. Um, section by section, these six sections ended up being eight because there's a lot of hair in the middle. This plait's actually come in done. But like, if you can see, the hair is already starting to look hydrated and it's been detangled. If you want at this stage, you can cut your ends. Like I need to cut my ends actually, but I'm not going to do that here. But yeah, just snip with your own scissors, especially if they're nice, neater twists. You can see where to cut the split ends off. And then now it's time to wash. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to take you guys with to the shower unless I do this with the shirt on, like how, that's how everyone else does it. So I'll decide and then we'll see. Um, let me just show you my shampoo. Um, upside down, <laughs> but this is... Also, as you can see, there's another horse there. Also part of the, um, it's not part of the Mane and Tail brand, but it's another horse brand. <laughs> and called Equilin. So this is the conditioning shampoo for the horse's tail. I use this for my hair and it works for me. So you can give it a try. This can be found in Discam and it's like a huge bottle. So yeah, very generous amounts there. So I'm going to wash with that and then um, condition I'll show you my conditioner and then um, thereafter we'll start with the next steps. We'll talk about that soon. So let's just get to the washing and then we'll get to step three. So we've done step one, detangle, and now we are going to wash and condition. Let's go. So after washing your hair, my eyes are a little red because I got some shampoo in there. After washing your hair, um, you add your conditioner. I used my 
pro vitamin 5 conditioner also from Diskim, but really you can just use whatever works on your hair so i'm not going to recommend that um it's for dry hair but i'll still link it down there if you want to specifically use that so i've drenched my hair in that from root to tip and section by section so that it you know retains some moisture and is hydrated so leave this on in a cap or plastic bag or whatever. And if you if you want, if you have a hair dryer, you can actually sit in there so that the heat seeps in and allows it to penetrate the hair shaft easier. But if not, just 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, and then wash it out. And then now uh, after we wash out, I won't show that in this video, I'm gonna wash this out. And then we can go to section three. So we've done detangling, we've done washing and conditioning. And now is going to be the third part, which is the last part, um, and that is moisturizing. And I use the lock method, which is the liquid oil and cream. So I'll show you that and then we're done. So I'm going to go rinse the conditioner out. I just want you to see how juicy <laughs> my hair looks. Look at this. You can already see how clean it is and how the curls are just being nourished by the conditioner so yeah check that out check that texture out um i'm going to wash now then i'll be back i'm back guys um so my hair retains lots of water so it's dripping everywhere um and as you can see this isn't a towel i use an old t-shirt to actually dry up the hair because that's less harsh you can see it's getting quite wet you can just pat it as well i use an old t-shirt to let the water out and um, obviously no hair dryers or anything like that let it let the water drip out a bit and then we can go to our last and final step our third and final step which is the lock method um, the reason I use an old t-shirt is because a towel is quite harsh and um, encourages breakage of hair when you're actually rubbing it or using it to like dry the hair up. So yeah, this is a cotton t-shirt is quite um, useful. One thing about 4C or natural hair, it will shrink. The shrinkage is real. I don't know if you remember how my hair was stretching at the detangling step, but now we have some cute little fuzzy hair. So let's get to the step. So it's still a bit wet. So we're going to start with the cream, um, the dark and lovely cream. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this um, in the lid here, I don't have a proper container with some of the oil so that I can just put it on my hair all at the same time. So take some of that. We've got some cream there. Um, okay, there's some excess cream. I'm just going to rub it on my hair for now. Um, and then I'm going to add oil. Okay, this smells interesting. I'm not too sure about the smell. Looks a bit like glycerin. Mix it there. I'm gonna use my finger. Yeah, I'm being very oh look at the water drip. Excuse me. Being very interesting today. So there you see we have a combination of the cream and the oil and the liquid is already on my hair as my hair is wet but as it dries up you can actually add more um, water by spraying so you know how we do we work in sections oh my fingers got a bit of that stuff in it we work in sections i think i'm still going to have to do like eight sections instead of two but let's start at the front here right so we can call this one section let's work with this right um let me clamp the rest of my head on this side so that it doesn't disturb me um we have a slightly visible middle part okay so 
there we go section one add that to the roots and then rub it in not sure about how i feel about this product it feels a bit heavy then add it in between as well so section the section you might not have to if your hair isn't that thick but i need to and then and there you go i think my section was a bit too big so i'm going to like just do this little one here yeah i think that will be easier to work with so add some cream there till the tip we did detangle so this is easy to work with and then put it in a twist or whatever if you're ready for styling then you can style So I'm done with my twists, not the neatest, but um, that's not the point of this video. So I just want you to see how clarified that scalp is. Um, yeah, the mask that I was trying out, this dark and lovely mask, honestly doesn't feel as great as the Shea Butter does on my hair, but we'll see once I unravel these twists. But I like how clean my scalp is. The MPL oil doesn't smell great, but it's got a nice tingly feeling. So it kind of feels like, hey, something's actually happening to my hair. So yeah, there we go. Wash day, done.